Hello, is Marvin there? Is that you? Please pick up. If not, I'll leave a message. Hello, do you remember when you went to the beach and you made that thing and scared everyone? Do you remember why you did this plan? If so, can you tell me? If you ever do something like that again, we will take you down to the police station. After Mrs. Scorpio talked to you, did you understand? If not, you will be in deep trouble. While Mrs. Scorpio was telling you, if she was trying not to be mean, she just didn't want you to upset everyone and scare them. Please call back as soon as possible. If not, come down and have a chat like proper people do. Silly Mrs. Scorpio, scary Sunday. One windy day, a strange person called Mrs. Scorpio woke up. When Mrs. Scorpio jumped out of her king size bed, she heard a scary knock and realised they were her creaking footsteps. She worked in a pet shop all the way downtown. Then she realised that she was like, what I need to. At work, so she quickly got dressed up and went to the shower and was making a lot of noise, like jumping and banning. She had small nostrils, like cat's paws. Every day, Mrs. Scorpio wore a dark red flowing hat and never let go of it even when she went to sleep. While she was awake, she felt the skin on her body and also she looked in the mirror and saw her golden watery eyes. Just as she got out of the house, she got a text that her meeting was off. As fast as a cheetah, she ran upstairs and got to her spinster. Then she went to Palma Hall, one of the best beaches in town that everyone goes to. When she got there, she flung her belongings down and ran on the hot sand and jumped in the sea. While that old woman was in the sea, she saw a thing of who knows what. After that wrinkly old woman saw that thing of who knows what, she felt tense and her heart was pumping even louder than normal and then she ran out even faster than usual. But she didn't know where she was going till she found a perfect place to go which was the cliffs but also she thought that it was dangerous but she thought for a moment and said to herself, I know I shouldn't be here, but it was the best place I could find. While she was there, she screamed, run for your life, people. And her eyes came out of her brain nearly because she saw all the big disruption because of everyone pushing and shoving out of the water, scratching and hurting themselves. Then she said, you boy, over there, show your face. No. Why? because it's my face and I can do what I want. Then the strange person turned round and Mrs. Scorpio saw that face and her jaw was open and pointing at him and then everyone else joined in. If you don't stop doing all your wicked plans, I will call the police. I don't believe you. Forget it, let's just get in the water, but we will, th we will talk about it later. They all forgot about it and enjoyed the rest of the day. After Norvin got in, he apologised to Mrs. Scorpio.